then. So, our topic, the title of our topic is business emails. Okay, can you share to me what is your idea about business email? What can you think of when you hear the words business emails? Oh, I think that business email is one of the most important way communicate in a good environment in office. Um, when we need to talk about uh something new when you want to talk about some problem in your job and want to receive any any information from uh, other person you can write a business email and uh, I, I i think it is a i think it is one of the most uh Communicate voice in office now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well then, with the let's go and continue with this topic. Okay. Yes. So in here we have here the phone and email. So regarding these two ways of communication, when. Can you tell me when do you use phone and when do you use email? Oh, I think that's both of uh both of them uh are important too. Uh, and um when you need to talk directly and in uh, in a urgent urgent case. Uh, you can make a phone call, uh, but in uh, normally no in official way, uh, you should use email because uh, when you use email, you can um, you, you you can um, you can uh, send the information to uh, many person if you want. Uh, you can show the evidence if you need, and um, yes, and so I think that um, both of them are very um, important too. Yes, that is why actually, um, you could in emails that just like what you mentioned, keeps evidence or proofs, and it could yeah. even give uh give you the way to discuss an. <laughs> proposal more in more details <laughs> okay well in phones you could also um, mm -hmm. um, um, an, 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 yes another thing another opinion i think that um, yes uh, email is very convenient because you can follow the topic and you can find any data after that when you finish the email yeah you could double Anytime check it if, if by chance you forget something, you could double check it. <laughs> that is right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So regarding that, let's go and know more about email. So here is uh, an example yeah. of a business email. Well, can you read it for me? What? Can you read this email? Yes, teacher. To me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Dear Mr. Wilson, I am Kim Laurie, HR executive from Lawyer Engineering. Thank you for your interest in marketing manager position at Lawyer Engineering. I would like to invite you to an interview as I have the details are as follow. Tom, 10 a.m. date Wednesday, uh, 4th March 2018. The new XYZ power uh, was just um, the district of click map to see direction. In the viewer, Mr. Diana Kennedy is our director. Kylie confirmed your attendance at your earliest convenience we look forward to meeting you soon best regard kim 
HR department. Okay, so regarding that, uh huh. So in this email that you just read, we have here some bold phrases. We have the dear Gil yes. Mr. Gilson, which we would say is the yes. greeting part of the email, of course. And then, of course, when you're writing email, you need to introduce yourself. You may say who you are, who's sending the email, and to, from where yeah. is it from, of course. As we can see, we have here the I am, the from, yeah. which is bold. And also, yeah. we should always express gratitude and to uh, about something to say that we are being polite in our our email. After all, business emails tend to be more formal. If we were to name that email, <laughs> okay, we have that. Yeah. Of course, some more phrases to put to include why you are writing an email and of course to name who is it the sign off we call the sign off okay so uh and this business email consider considering that you are from a sales department okay you're a sales agent can you uh what can you say about business emails? Do you always uh have these kinds of emails whenever you contact your uh client? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Uh business email is very familiar with me. Mm -hmm. Very, very needed. Why? Mm, it's a bad tool to communicate with um other person with customer with another department <laughs> <laughs> yes that is right so this with this uh very short email let's go and first have a very short exercise too regarding that okay so yeah, we have teacher. here this exercise and then tell me about each in these five sentences if it's true or false okay but first can you please read the sentence first before you tell me if it's true yeah. or false and then tell me why yeah. yes okay uh, none. yes yes number one this is an introduction email uh, is a false mm -hmm. sentence uh, because uh, this email is um as a invitation in the interview invitation invitation okay yes that is right continue yeah yes and number two the email is informal um yes it's true something i think it's used uh many many uh poll have a Polite sentence, polite context. So you're saying that this email is what? Formal or informal? Those two are different. Mm, I think uh, uh, formal, formal is a um a email between many with between people who know each other before that mm -hmm. so you're saying that this email that you've just read is informal or formal sorry teacher yes i was asking uh because you're talking about that this uh, email is polite and this email is something between people who knows each other before that right you just mentioned it so yeah. i was asking you confirming from you are you saying that is this email formal or informal oh i i, I think that this email is a formal Formal. formal email yes okay so it's formal email so you're answering for number two is it's 
false. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> because it's informal. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's I, fine. I wish it was formal, but in my mind, I think that is a formal, formal <laughs> word. Yeah, you, that that's fine. Yeah. It's, it's usually, it's usual to get confused on that word. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But anyway, your Thank your you. answer was quite correct because you were saying it's polite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I said informal but I explained that it's a formal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's good since you were able to give why is it formal. <laughs> okay. That's <Yeah>. good. <laughs> Let's have yeah. number three. Yes. Number three, Mr. Wilson is invited to an interview. Of course, is a true answer. Yes, that's true. Four. Yeah. Number four, Kim will interview Mr. Wilson. No, Kim is uh, uh Kim is person send an email to invite Mr. Wilson, but uh, Diana will interview Mr. Wilson. Yes, that is right. And how about the last number? Number five, the last, uh, since Mr. Wilson confirmed your schedule. No, not yet. Not yet, that's right, because he just received it. Okay, that is yeah. what is all the sentence, uh, the email is all about. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good. So concerning about business emails, we have here the key phrases on writing a business email. So we have yes. here the, of course, the one we've mentioned about, the first one, the dear Mr. and Mr. Here are what we would say, the greetings. Yeah, dear Mr. Mm -hmm. Miss, Miss, teacher, teacher, I am always forgot the difference between Miss and me, me Mrs. Miss, Miss, <laughs> and this yes. you're saying is okay just a second let me type that one miss and missus or if we put it in the one okay that one yeah. when we say about the miss that means that person that woman is not yet married when we say about oh, missus yeah. that's married simple yeah, as that yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> Okay, let's continue with the next one. We have here the average teacher, height. But, uh -huh. but in some in some situation, we don't know about the the woman get married or not. Mm -hmm. So we will will meet or misses. Uh, usually, what they uh what they uses in that is dear sir, mom. Mom is for both uh, Miss or Mrs. Because we don't know if they're married or not, just like you mentioned. So we could just simply say mom. Mom? mom? Yes. Uh, let me type that one. Yeah. This one. Sir or mom. Yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. That, that's how you do that. Okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so going okay, back on to the key phrases, on the right side, column we have yeah. the i would like to or what is the email all about or the message okay yes so moving on from that let's go and continue with the next part that talks about of course still how do you usually write a letter now we have here what we call the small talk so we have the subject line which will include yeah. the uh, main topic of why yeah. you are writing. So, of course, you should yeah. be always yeah. concise and clear about that. And as always, we have yeah. the greeting and the email buddy where yes. these, all these topics is included. The You need to introduce yourself and, of course, Remind the recipient or the receiver how you met, got his or her contact information. Then, of course, the brief purpose of the email, describe the situation, problem, ask for or provide solution, set a deadline. That is if any, if there's 
of course. And of course, we have yeah. the closing line. I look forward to from you soon. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Or simply ask, thank you for your help. And sign off. We yeah. have a lot of sign off. We have the sincerely, best wishes, warm regards, many thanks, best or regards, simple as regards. There's even that says the yours truly. That is of course in emails such as informal emails, or we could say uh, love me, Sim like that in sign offs. Okay, but of course that is fine in informal letters or emails. So yeah. yeah. Concerning about that, let's go and have another exercise, okay? So this time, the exercises, you need to put these sentences into the correct order. Just like this one, where you would, of course, have this greeting, email, body, and such. Okay? Yes. Best way is, is closing. Mm-hmm. Just a second on. So what you're going to do is number one would be, of course, the first thing that you would see in a letter. Okay. So you yes. would tell me which is the first one up to the seventh. Okay. Uh, sorry, teacher. Can you can you back this back the back to the last slide? Okay, last slide. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. We have five parts. I okay, teacher. We have five parts, and I will put this this sentence into the one of five parts. Well, yes, kind of, but this one, the sentences is seven, so you could find that maybe there were be some in oh, here. I I will I will arrange I, I will arrange seven seven cents in into, into a an email because this is word yeah. is an email. Okay? Yeah yeah okay okay okay. Uh, number four it's a dear Miss Goodman. Would be one. Yes. Okay. Which is number two? Um Number two is oh. Number two. No number number one two three four five six. Just tell number me the six. sentence. Number six, teacher. Is it the I suggest? I try to call you. Uh huh. Just tell me the sentence, okay? Yes. I tried to call you this afternoon, but you were in a meeting. Uh huh. That's the second. What's yes. the number three? Yes. Um. Number. I with regard to our meeting tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Um, I suggest that I invite our accountant Gordon King to the meeting. I think it is a good idea if we also discuss your project cost. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Pretty Marquis, back with. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, for this one, I would say this one and this one, you just uh, mix it. This would be the number five. And this would be the number four, and this is the number five. Okay. Oh. This is four. Oh. This is five. But you did great, cause you only just mix those yeah. two. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You did great anyway. So regarding that, yeah. 
Okay. We're gonna <laughs> go and continue with this tomorrow, okay? So that was nice. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay. Yeah. Since we don't have enough enough time, <laughs> I'll be saying goodbye for tonight, okay? Bye. Thank you, On.